playing so hard, and we needed to uh, to beat them. I mean, uh, the crowd was great. Tom's teams are so good, and this team really advances the ball uh, probably as fast as anyone in the country. And so overall, I thought we did a good job of getting back. And actually, we had a lot more fast break points than I could have ever imagined in this in this game. And so much of that had to do with, uh, with Trey and how our big guys ran the court, especially uh, Javin. Javin has not played to the level that he's capable, and tonight he was a, a difference maker for us. Uh, I thought our big guys did a very, very good job, and um, yeah, we won a tough game. So, any questions? Coach, you had mentioned on Friday that we might not be a top five team now, but we'll just keep going along and keep getting better. Right. How much of a stride is this in, in that process? Yeah, well, this is a huge win. That doesn't mean you've arrived, you know. And uh, we, you know, we're placed in a very difficult situation. Our conference put us in a situation where we'll get back at four in the morning, and literally, we're in our we're in the toughest week of our academic year, the week before exams. Two of our kids took tests last night here, and now we got to go back, and then the next day, Thursday, fly to Blacksburg, and uh, you know it's really not a good scheduling thing by our conference. Uh, and we'll see how our guys react. Uh, obviously we we're real pleased, you know, with the with the win. Now we gotta we gotta put that behind us uh, very quickly. Coach, you mentioned a uh, great performance with Javin, but you also saw great performances from all of your veterans from Jack yeah. and Joey. Uh, what can you say about that going forward with the team this season? No, it's a good point. It? And uh, you know Joey Joey has just worked every day. He comes to work every day, and every time he's put in a game, he's done well. In our last game against Winthrop, a lot of people think, well, that should be, they're very good. They can be an NCAA team. You know, Joey and uh, Jordan Goldwire were the difference. And, uh, you know, Jack, Jack's been just solid. You know, I think he had a couple blocks and three steals. And he had a big three. So everyone contributed, and uh, we needed to. You know, they're, you know, they're a very deep team. And the foul trouble that we had, especially in the first half, kind of can mess you up a little bit. And they hit, hit us with that run right away. And I thought our kids really did a great job after the timeout of uh, regaining poise and, and get control of the game. Vernon Carey uh, kind of took over in a spurt after Michigan State kind of pulled within eight. Mm -hmm. Look at that segment from him and his game overall tonight. Yeah, well, he played a great game. Our guy, you know, our guys look for him, and uh, the key for him is he's nine for twelve from the free throw line. You know, so and he missed a couple, like on the break that one, and you know, he he could have had you know over thirty in this game. And our guys look for him, and really for uh, a freshman, especially a big guy, to uh, have that poise in the post is, uh, you know, commendable. One more thought on him. One time he went to defend a screen, a ball screen, all the way out by your bench, and then he came back and blocked one in the lane on the same sequence. Yeah, then I had to solo because he was gassed. <laughs> and, uh, but, no, he has good, you know, his, he's not just a big guy, he's a basketball player. And he, he has really good lateral movement. But uh, playing at this pace, you get tired. So the subbing that we did, uh, we're all four of our big guys, because Jack was on the perimeter and big. It, uh, it, helped, it helped a lot. Do you find yourself uh, preparing? Where are you? Right here. Okay. okay. Thanks. Sorry. No problem. Do you find yourself preparing your more recent teams differently than you prepared past teams uh, as it relates to coming to Michigan State? Well, this is, uh, this is just a different team for us. You know, we don't have that one guy or two guys that we've had each year that are, they can just go and get it. We have to get it together. And, uh, and we're, we're younger. Our freshmen are younger. And... Um, so this, I've said at the start of the year, this is an old-fashioned team. This is like 15 years ago, where 
you, you would hope that they stay together for a few years because they're going to, if they stay healthy, they'll continue to develop. I don't know how high they'll develop in this one year. Uh, uh, we're hoping high, but uh, it, it very much is a different team. And so as far as our prep, it's not about preparing for Michigan State. It's how that type of team prepares uh, in comparison with Zion and RJ or Tatum or Bagley and Carter. It's a much different preparation. Much more attention to detail. Right here, Coach. Yeah. In preparing for this game, was there any quote-unquote weaknesses that you felt like you could exploit when going through film or anything like that? No. I mean, our, our thing was just to try not to get hurt uh, by their rapid advance of the ball and their rebounding. And uh, we held our own rebounding. And that, I think, was key. And they really didn't get as much. We probably got an equal amount, maybe a little bit more in transition, which I wouldn't have bet on that. Not that I bet. I just, <laughs> but uh, uh, before the game. So the, the two things, you know, make them a half-court team and try to hold your own on, on, uh, on the rebounds. And uh, we... You know, we did well in those those two areas, but you know they don't. They're they're weak. They don't have weaknesses. You know, they're they're an outstanding team, and uh, uh, I think when they get their rotation down, it'll they'll even be better. And look, you know, I I said I called Tom a couple weeks ago when all that happened with Cassius and. Um, for a program to go through that, and their key player to go through that, you know, the, it, you all have handled it really well as a community, as a team, and but still, I mean, that's a that's a very very difficult thing, and uh, uh, so my again, our thoughts and prayers are with him and his family, and yeah, but. It, to me, it looks like you all have really put your arms around them and you know tried to make make it as good as it can possibly be. Uh, Coach, uh, last week um, you guys struggled a bit with keeping people from uh, scoring in the paint, and tonight you managed to, especially in the first half, uh, slow Michigan State down in that respect. Uh, what did your team do differently from? Yeah, last you week? know, it's just we're we're not we're not a veteran team, so you're going to see fluctuations and. We're going to see. We're not going to see as much consistency as I would like. Uh, but tonight we did. So um, you know, if we played that way last week, we would have won two games instead of one. But we didn't because we're learning. You know, we're learning. And the main thing for our guys is they were extremely competitive tonight. Unbelievably competitive tonight, and uh, I'm proud of. The fact that they did that. Mike, for a couple more, the, the act of hands you guys had on defense and, and the block shots, particularly, that seemed to take Michigan State out of their rhythm. I guess what did you see from your defensive guys in that that, that yeah. maybe threw them off? You know, we had block shots and turned some, got some turnovers. I we didn't go into the game thinking we're going to block as many shots or get the steals, but our guys were really tough and make you know um, in making an extra play. You know, like you were beaten, the team was beaten, but then we weren't. And, you know, we had probably about eight plays like that where there could have been scores for them, and our, our kids just made they made that extra play. And uh, you know, that was superb. <laughs> that's not coaching. That That's what I mean, the competitiveness that they had. They, they didn't just... They got beat, and then they still recovered, which uh, saved the game for us, and uh, saved the game for us, no question. Coach, right here. Obviously, it's a Super Bowl environment tonight with Draymond's re you know, retirement. Yeah, and by the way, yeah, I had the honor to coach Draymond in the Olympics, and uh, what an outstanding guy, and so deserving of, of having that. You come in the arenas like this all the time, and what do you say to you guys, you know, when it's a Super Bowl environment, and nine times out of ten, 
guys come out on the side. Yeah, the, I just tell them, you know, if you want to, you want to sing your song, you want to sing it in front of a big audience, and uh, you know, you not only come into our program, but you come into Michigan State's program, wanting to play in these type of environments. And uh, uh, I don't, I didn't know how our kids would respond. You can want, and then all of a sudden you get, and it can go go sideways. But tonight they wanted, they got, and they responded. So cool thing. I'm proud of them for doing that. Coach, over here to your left, sir. Yeah. You mentioned calling Tom three weeks ago when the tragedy hit, and he talked about how much it meant in the highly competitive world of college basketball, you two have a strong friendship. Oh, yeah, yeah. Could you please talk about that friendship? Yeah, well, I admire the heck out of him and Michigan State's program. You know, we have two of the best programs in sport, not just in basketball. And yeah, we have it because of the the values and the standards, the principles that he evokes, and we do too. And it started with Judd too. And you know, so I mean, Michigan State is the creme de la creme, you know. And we are too. We're, there's not one, but you know. And when you are that, you you have ultimate respect for the guy leading the other group. I know he has that for me and I have that for him. So, uh, you know, it's, uh, yeah. Consistent excellence is not easily achieved and Michigan State has had uh, consistent excellence because of uh, Tom and, and his amazing staff. I mean, his staff has been together for, for a long time and, uh, and the support and the support they have, a, you know, their former players are like our former players. They feel like they're they're part of a family. And uh, I mean, Tom it was his 25th year. He's a yes. young whippersnapper, you know, but uh, 40. But uh, uh, when you have that continuity, then those players come back, and there there's family. And not many program, hardly any programs have that. They do, and we do. We're two of them. And so that that's why we're we're very very close. All right, thanks All right, a lot. Thank you.